He was a Spanish conquistador and governor of Guatemala. He participated in the conquest of Cuba and the Aztec Empire. He is considered the conquistador of much of Central America. His name is Pedro de Alvarado. Pedro de Alvarado, a Spanish conquistador and governor of Guatemala, was a key figure in the conquest of Central America during the 16th century. Born in 1485 in Extremadura, Spain, Alvarado embarked on a remarkable journey that would forever shape the history of the region. Alvarado first gained experience in the New World as a participant in the conquest of Cuba led by Diego Velázquez. It was during this time that he honed his skills as a military leader and explorer. In 1518, he joined Juan de Grijalva's expedition to explore the coasts of the Yucatan Peninsula and the Gulf of Mexico, further expanding his knowledge of the region and its indigenous cultures. However, it was Alvarado's involvement in the conquest of the Aztec Empire that truly solidified his place in history. In 1519, he joined forces with Hernán Cortés and played a crucial role in the fall of the Aztec capital, Tenochtitlan. Alvarado's military prowess and strategic leadership were instrumental in the success of the conquest, earning him the title of the conquistador of much of Central America. After the fall of Tenochtitlan, Alvarado embarked on further expeditions to consolidate Spanish control over the region. He led expeditions to various indigenous cities including Sempola, Cholula, and Texcoco, establishing Spanish dominance and enforcing Spanish rule. In 1524, Alvarado was appointed as the governor of Guatemala, a position he held until his death. During his governorship, he continued to expand Spanish influence, leading expeditions to regions such as Honduras and El Salvador. He is credited with the conquest of these territories, further solidifying Spanish control over Central America. Alvarado's expeditions had a profound impact on the world, as they marked the beginning of Spanish colonization and the spread of European influence in the region. The conquests led by Alvarado and his fellow conquistadors forever changed the political, social, and cultural landscape of Central America. Despite his accomplishments, Alvarado's rule was not without controversy. His harsh treatment of the indigenous populations and his ruthless tactics in suppressing uprisings have drawn criticism from historians. Nevertheless, his role as a conquistador and his contributions to the Spanish conquest cannot be denied. Pedro de Alvarado's legacy as a conqueror and governor of Guatemala lives on, leaving an indelible mark on the history of Central America. His expeditions and conquests have shaped the region's identity and continue to influence its culture and heritage to this day. In the midst of the conquest of the Aztec Empire, Pedro de Alvarado, with his flamboyant and charismatic personality, stood out among his fellow conquistadors. Described as having good features and bearing, Alvarado's physical appearance matched his reputation as a skilled military commander. The Aztecs, impressed by his blonde hair, referred to him as Tonatiu, the sun god. However, beneath his affable appearance, Alvarado possessed a volatile and quick-tempered nature. Driven by greed and ambition, Alvarado became infamous for his excessive cruelty towards the indigenous peoples he sought to conquer. His ruthless tactics, such as the massacre in the Great Temple of Tenochtitlan, often overshadowed strategic considerations. Even his Spanish contemporaries denounced his extreme brutality. Alvarado's thirst for new conquests led him to constantly seek out new adventures, neglecting his responsibilities as a governor. His letters and actions showed little interest in civil matters, focusing solely on exploration and war. As governor of Guatemala, Alvarado proved himself to be an insatiable despot, recognizing no authority but his own. He disregarded attempts by the Spanish crown to establish order taxation, treating Guatemala as his personal estate. His poor governance and resistance to establish stable foundations for colonial rule left a legacy of chaos and instability. Alvarado's character, described by historian William H. Prescott, was marked by a desire to be feared rather than loved by his subjects, be they indigenous or Spanish. His easy recourse to violence reflected the norms of his time, where conquest and subjugation were often achieved through brutality. While Alvarado's actions were not unique among conquistadors, his reputation for cruelty and lack of governance have made him a subject of greater criticism than his counterparts. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.